Good morning, fellow rebels. Uh, if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Susan. My husband's name is Shane. And we sold almost everything we owned, bought an RV, and hit the road back in August of 2021. And we're currently in Utah. We've been in Utah for quite a while. But um, we were going to be here for a little bit longer. But Shane's mom has been really sick. And she had a heart attack yesterday. And so we felt that it's just time to get back home to family. So we are packing it up today. We are moving. Uh, it's probably going to be a three to four day journey to get back home. But um, we're going to take you with us. I already took the Snickers pup for a walk this morning. And now she's going to get some breakfast. Yeah, are you ready for some breakfast? Are you ready for some breakfast? Okay, so let me get her fed and then we'll... Uh, We'll meet back here. We're packing up to go. We haven't moved the RV. Well, we did move her um, to go away because we didn't know how much we weighed. So we did move to go away a month or so ago, um, but to weigh the RV. But we haven't actually moved her down the road and on a trip since October of 2023. So we're just discovering, well, we discovered yesterday that we have a a crack in our water heater so we'll have to fix that and the other thing is that we found out this morning that our water pump doesn't work which we just installed I think two years ago it was a brand new water pump two years ago um, actually not even quite too close to two years ago anyway so that's always fun traveling with no water in the tank or we've got water in the tanks but we just don't have enough we don't have a, our water pumps not working so that's lovely so, there's that. <laughs> we'll see what other unexpected stuff comes along before we actually get out of here. Good morning. So, I really sucked at filming yesterday. I didn't do a lot of filming yesterday. It was just such a long day. We were on the road for eight and a half hours and when we got here we were just exhausted and so we didn't film much yesterday but it's the next morning and I'm fixing to take Snickers out for her morning walk and we're gonna hit the road again today but it's not gonna be quite as long today. We're just gonna drive about four or five hours today so it's a crazy uh, trip this time. But the place where we're staying, the RV park where we stayed last night, was actually, I mean, the site that we have is, is a nice site, but I'll show you later. It was so difficult to get into last night. You couldn't see the numbers on the um, pedestals. You couldn't see any numbers because they were not reflective. They were turned the wrong direction on everything. And um, they put us in a, a site at the very back. We had to pull around into I'll just show you it was crazy this is our site last night we stayed at the Route 66 RV park we got a really nice little site but this is our site it's a nice site but look we had to come down there that road right there and turn this curve and pull in here. You talk about difficult. Oh my gosh. After dark and you can't see anything? It's crazy. And why does it smell like sewer out here? I know we're right by the dump station, but the whole place smells like sewer. Squirrel crossing. All kinds of new smells out here. Go over here in the little dog park and see how see how she likes the dog park. This is a nice little dog park. It's really big. I didn't do a lot of filming yesterday. Sorry. I didn't do a lot of filming yesterday. It was a long day. We we were on the road for eight and a half hours, which is a rule that we broke for our own selves because we try not to ever drive more than four five max hours but we're trying to hurry and get back home to see his mom and all that so we 
we booked it. We were, oh, it was such an exhausting day. So I didn't film too much, but uh, we got here last night about 7, 30, between 7.30 and 7.45, and it was getting dark, which is another cardinal rule that we broke on our own because we always said we like to get to a place by no later than five this time of year, so that way it's still light enough we can see what we're doing in the park and all that kind of stuff. Um, now in the winter time, you know, we try to stop no later than three because it gets dark earlier. So anyway, so we broke two rules yesterday of our own. Uh, but you know I guess it was for good reason so but the the park was nice and quiet last night of course you do have some freeway noise but we don't hear much anything in our RV after we go to bed we've got a fan in the bedroom and we have double pane windows so it's it's nice we don't hear a lot of stuff in the in there but this morning we're gonna to try to make it to the other side of Amarillo so it'll only be about five hours of driving so anyway, hopefully I can do more videoing today. We'll see. We'll see. This really irritates me so bad. People let their dog poo on the ground and then they don't pick it up. And then whoever cleaned this site the last didn't see it and didn't clean it up either. <laughs> Look at this. The bags that they give you to put your dog poo in. Look at this. I can't even look at the size of this. Look at the size of this bag. <laughs> Somebody put the wrong size bags in here. These bags are supposed to be in here. I mean, how much poo are you getting from your dog with a bag this big? That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Are you trying to prevent, prevent Daddy from putting on his shoes? She's like, no, let's stay. You don't want to go traveling? You want to be a traveling pup? Can I put on my shoes? We got to get ready to go. <laughs> You're not too sure. You love to travel, but she's like, this big rig kind of freaks me out a little bit. Because the whole house moves. <laughs> the whole thing moves. She did pretty good though yesterday. She just laid yeah. on her little bed between the two she of us and she did pretty time. good. She's freaked out by some of the things that the make noises. noises, the popping and the cracking and the <laughs> squeaking. You ready to go? You ready to go? Huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're leaving, what is this, Edgewood? Edgemont, New Mexico? Edge, Edge, Edge something. something. Something with an edge on it. <laughs> so they even allow schoolies here. There's, they have, you know, they allow anything, I guess. So that's good. But some people don't allow buses or other, uh, like ambulances and things. I guess this one will allow pretty much anything. So that's nice. Take the next right on New Mexico 333 West. But our plans tonight are to stop in Shamrock, Texas. We're trying to get on the other side of Amarillo. You know, as full timers, we don't um, we don't make reservations usually, at least not way in advance. Like yesterday, we tried to make a reservation for tonight. The first place that I called, he said, "Yeah, we got a spot for you." And then he called me back later and said, "Oh no, we don't. I didn't realize that the owner already made a made a reservation for somebody in the spot that he was going to put us in." So then we had to go to plan B mile. Turn right on and um, so we, we made another reservation at this place right here but we don't make reservations days in advance it's just something normally I think full-timers don't do so we just make one like the day of so this morning we made one uh, as another one on Route 66 in Shamrock Texas they've got really good reviews they've got a petting zoo uh, so I'm kind of excited about that yeah and it was only with tax, it was only forty-two dollars and some change. And actually, she didn't even she didn't even take my payment over the phone. She just took my name and our information, our rig, 
and um, said that she's got a spot for us and that we'll just pay when we get there. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. And it's only $35 a night with tax, which forty, it'll be 42 and some change. So that's doable. That's definitely not too bad. So that's where we're headed right now. Actually, we're headed to get some diesel and then we're headed there. We pulled in here to the pilot uh, to get diesel and because the other uh, travel center across the other side of the freeway there they got terrible reviews so we pulled in here to get diesel and yeah, we're we line. are third in line here but it's not just us I mean you even got this guy way over here I mean this place is apparently because the reviews <laughs> everybody comes here so now who knows how long we'll have to wait to get fuel but I mean we're all we're all lower than a quarter of a tank so we gotta wait been a casualty on interstate 40 let me show you what happened here the front of our refrigerator door fell off isn't that lovely as we're driving down the freeway yeah so this uh plastic piece right here just buckled and then our door fell off and it splintered so here's what's behind it yeah this is a big thick heavy wood piece and we've had ah. problems with it staying up there before but this right here this plastic piece right here just it just buckled under the weight of all that wood and it splintered here's a splinter part of the it came off from over here so now we'll have to figure out what the heck to do about that see that just splintered off so when we pulled in here at this rest area all these this whole thing here was just full of other RVers and here in front of us too and over here Oh, that's a semi there, but I told China, I said, yeah, all these people are here checking to see what they messed up on Interstate 42. Because <laughs> these roads in America are horrible. No, just uh, New Mexico roads are too. Yeah, this is Interstate 40 in New Mexico. It's just awful. Oh, my gosh. So we've made <laughs> Snickers a little pup bed up here between the two of us. A little platform. Let's see, see how well that'll do so we can... It, that, the front of that refrigerator, what is this guy doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. All right. What a lunatic. Huh. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> we made our little, uh, a little puppy bed here so we can just love on her and we're going down the road and she can turn around and see out the window if she wants to. So we'll see how well this goes. <laughs> you ready to hit the road, girl? She really, she it really scared her when that, uh, she was laying up here on the couch when that fell off back there in the back. <laughs> All right, so onward we go. We're staying in Shamrock, Texas tonight, and it's called the Route 66, Texas Route 66, Texas Route 66 RV Park here in Shamrock. And they've got a pet, a little petting zoo. It was only $35 a night, so it really good price. Uh, and so we're gonna go and take a look at the wow. farm animals and see if we can feed them and what they've got. So let's go. Hello. I don't have anything to feed you. I'm sorry. I know you, I, you think I called you over here for nothing, huh? <laughs> think I called you over here for nothing? 
Oh, look how pretty his eyes are so big. Hey, what's he doing? Oh, he's a pretty donkey. Oh, is this Claire? What was her Claire, name? Uh, Clara or Claire, Claire the donkey? I forgot her name. Yeah, I think it's a female. I think her name was What's Clara. Girl? Claire, Clara? Is that your name? <laughs> Look at her ears. I know you can hear me. There's <laughs> the big old ears. Here's our site that we're in. It's right on the end. So we've got all this right here is all ours. It's all ours and there's our uh, picnic table. So it's, it's pretty good. It's a nice little park. I like the, how the spaces are far apart that's nice you're not you're not right on top of your neighbor here are the goats and the sheep they said the sheep will not come to the fence no matter what because they're afraid of you so wow y'all need some shearing don't you <laughs> hello hello here are the goats hello wow look at this queen bee look at that Actually, I don't think that's a, a female, though, is it? I don't know anything about... Do all goats have horns? Whoa! Oh, you're not getting caught in the fence! <laughs> oh! This is what they do, like the ram stuff. Okay. You aggressive? You yeah, he, aggressive? Said, he said that they'll eat fresh grass. Fresh Here's some fresh grass. You want some fresh grass? Hello! How are you? Look, look at that goat over there. <laughs> What's your deal, dude? What's your deal? He's a head butter. So I'm assuming that's a male? I don't know, let's see. I thought only no, males. No, it's a female. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good nice, the old car over there is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that old car. I don't even know what kind it is. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I'm go look at it. Oh, we got us some, uh, we got us some Route 66. Some drinks. Shane got a blue, blue Raz, Raz and I got a root beer. It's made with uh, cane sugar. Real cane sugar, yeah, I got me a root beer. It's real healthy, but hey, <laughs> cane sugar drinks do taste better. That grill is pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's cool. needs to be restored, but that's a Buick Riviera. No, it it's a Riviera. Riviera? So, so it's a oh, Buick. it's a Buick. It's a Buick. My dad would love this car. He loves Buicks. That's a sharp looking car, though. It's a good body style. I can see why people like them. Yeah. Hey, ducky ducks. There's the ducks. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, little baby chicks. Oh, I'm not too no. sure about people. They're still young. Y'all gonna make a lot of good at other fighting over there. Oh, where? Oh. <laughs> These two are scrapping. Oh, yeah. They're having a standoff. So as we as we were driving here today, we actually saw an RV that had a chicken coop on a trailer behind it. <laughs> I was wondering where is this guy going with his chicken coop? Had a solar had a solar panel on the top of it and everything. I'm like, what in the world? And I thought, man, that guy's kind of probably got it figured out if he can find a place to camp because he's got his own egg factory <laughs> and uh, you know chicken factory. There's not any there's not any RV park though that's gonna let you come in there and set up your chicken house. <laughs> well, you never know, but. I, I told says I said, you know, people might laugh at that guy, but in an apocalypse situation, everybody would want to be his friend. <laughs> yeah. We found out from the owner she likes grass. Fresh from, grass. Uh, fresh grass outside the fence here, so we thought we'd come back and give her some. <laughs> oh, she's oh she got a you excited? Pep, you got a pep, pep in her step. step. <gasps> oh, looky there. She realized we're not we're not just here just to pet her. We got some goodies. Want some more? There you go, girl. Oh, she like that. <laughs> Is you a hard kicker? You don't kick, do you? She said, wait and find out. Not as long as we're bringing you some snacks, some grass snacks. You know, don't kick there's grass snacks, are you? Oops. Sorry. The wind's blowing it all I away. Lost a little bit.
right into Oklahoma. We pulled in here to Rolling Stone and Stables RV Park for the night. 30 bucks. 30 bucks for our site. And look, they have some horsies here. Hello, horsey. Oh, so pretty. Hello. I don't know if I'm supposed to pet you or not, but if you're friendly, I'll pet you. Are you friendly? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, he feels like velvet. Oh, aren't you pretty? Oh, you like the camera, do you? <laughs> oh, very pretty. Okay, I'll leave you. I'll let you eat. I'll let you eat. Oh, I heard some thunder just a minute ago on these clouds. Sounds like a thunderstorm. I know you're going to think I'm weird, but I love a good, strong, loud thunderstorm. I haven't had one of those in so long. It's been over a year since we've had a, a loud thunderstorm. Welcome to Arkansas, the natural state. Yay! We are finally back home. And it's a new state for our Snickers. She's not ever been to Arkansas. <laughs> so we made it home last night, or yesterday afternoon, to my parents' house. And I didn't film a lot of it. It was just kind of craziness, but we've made it back here. And Snickers is enjoying this big yard she gets to play in. She's just having fun. And I am loving the grass and the trees again. You don't realize how much you miss the grass and the trees when you're away from it. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Utah was so gorgeous and I definitely am going to go back someday, but I miss the trees and the grass. <laughs> I was telling Shane, you know, when you grow up in Arkansas with a bunch of grass and trees and you go to other states like Arizona or parts of Utah where people build their houses and they look like commercial lots because they just have nothing but gravel in front of them. Ugh, I don't know that I could handle that. I need, I need grass in my yard. I need grass in my yard. But anyway, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. Um, we're back home now with family. We're going to go see Shane's mom. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. And until next time, live in the sunshine.